I received a really nice email from uh, from a man called R2, in which he thanked me for uh, for giving him his life back. Then I was like, oh, maybe he reacts a little bit too soon on this. So I was like, well, maybe you can still expect a, a relapse or something. And then he said something very interesting. He said, I'm glad to learn more from myself by another setback. Yeah. So then people asked me, could you do an interview with him? And here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is Artu from Finland. Yeah, hello. <laughs> All right, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, thanks. So let's 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 go with these with the second email you wrote me. Like if there would be a setback, I would be glad to have one yeah. so that I can learn more from myself. So it doesn't worry me if I get setback. I actually when I sent you the message that I was walking like seven kilometers, I actually caught a little bit setback after it. Like a little bit headache, but I knew it like it it's gonna be over in two like two days because I know deep inside me hold the relax now i know all the rest and it's gone fast like really fast and what did you learn from your symptoms when you have fatigue why are you so confident that you are not worried anymore about symptoms because i got like release them i don't know it's, it's you know what causes them yeah they they just go away like symptoms i don't care they are not scary to me I just believe in myself. Like it's like this inner belief that yeah. I'm, yeah, I can, I, it's, it's going to be gone. And before this interview, we had a few minutes of, of talking to get it, to get to know each other because, yeah. you know, I, I've never met you and you've done the, the alignment course uh, on my website and I did not even know that you were doing it apart from one email that you sent me. Yeah. So I was wondering like what in the program made you look different at everything that you are confident enough to not be scared of your fatigue. Maybe I realized it's not that real. It's not that serious. Like huh. it's just me. I myself, I'm making it serious and myself. I'm trying to fight it like hard as I can. I was fighting hard as I can, like fight against not being sick and I think that was the problem. Stop fighting <laughs> against myself, like letting myself be, like not taking it so seriously. Just go walks. And I went actually for walks many times. And that helped when I say to myself, it's okay to be like this angry. It's okay to be this having this anxiety. It's okay. Nobody's going to punch me or anything if I have anxiety. And, yeah. So you basically yeah. let go of a lot of pressure. Yeah. And before you mentioned the video that is in the, I believe it's the fifth module maybe with uh, Teal Swan, where yeah. she's interviewing a young lady about her stressful coping behavior. Yeah. And what yeah. did that do with you? Yeah, it, 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 it was like a like changing point for me because I saw myself in her. I was like, I am that woman sitting there like saying that uh, 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 yeah i was basically trying to like kill myself slowly i don't know what uh, what was it actually in that video that hit you it was uh, that i was acting the same way i was so serious about everything i was like i don't know it was i realized like i was fighting myself just yeah. trying to like feeling that I was trying to he hit me so hard. I was like pretty much crying after it because I saw what I was just trying to like slowly kill myself. I have to turn around, like listen to myself. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, it was this crazy realization. Yeah, for everyone who, who did not watch the video, it's, um, it's a, a video, an interview from around an hour where Till Swan interviews this woman and she has like this pleasing coping behavior that she's actually giving herself the whole time away. And she has perfectionistic, perfectionistic tendencies. And you are actually having the exact same, you yeah. have the exact same personality. Yeah. Was it easy to turn this around? Uh, no. No, I'm trying to fight it. I don't care what method is it. Like, <laughs> like 
and I hate edit. I really hate edit that I am acting like that. Oh, but yeah. but it was like painful and yeah. I think it was easier after it because I came to trust myself that I'm going to be well somehow. Yeah. And before you also said a big trigger alert for everyone when you mentioned that the symptoms are not that real. What do you mean with that? After the symptoms were gone, I noticed that I was having even more anger and more anxiety. Then I knew that the symptoms in my body, the fatigue was like hidden emotions only. And then I knew that they were not real mm -hmm. because I, can, I could release the emotions and then, then the symptoms were more and more gone. And, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So uh, that's again, for many people, that's another trigger alert to say that uh, it's just emo real. emotions. Yeah. So this is of course re related to as well, the fifth module with TMS, which, which I introduce. How do you think that your symptoms are created? Just doing the things that I don't want to do as hard as I can. <laughs> like it was that. I tried my best to please like my family, my mother, everything. I was trying to please my girlfriend hard as I could to be a good man, basically, I think. I think it came from that and also from the sickness, maybe, because it added to my stress. How did you stop that, that coping behavior that we talk about in the fifth module? Yeah, it, it was basically the shock. I was like, if I do continue this, this I'm going to kill myself. Like, <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'm just trying to kill myself slowly. I, it was the realization. Yeah. I, I have to change. Like, I started with the beliefs, like Louis Hay book. It, it was good. Affirmations were good. I also had the nightmares after it. <laughs> that was good. Then the EMD, like, what what's the name? The trauma healing thing it was really good i was after it feeling really shocked like just looking i don't know how to how I explain the feelings but i was like okay. just looking at the walls like this holy like the emotions yeah so okay but, sorry you go really fast i okay i i don't really follow you anymore Okay. So, so you did the, can you talk about the affirmations and what it did to you and the nightmares? Uh, the affirmations I did, basically I say that I accept myself, I love myself. I say two things a lot to myself. And after it, it was like two or three days, really bad nightmares. I remember. Yeah. But, you, you sent me an email then. That was the only time we had contact. Yeah. Yeah. I asked you about the nightmares. Is it normal to feel the nightmares after it? Because it was suddenly yeah. after the affirmations. Yeah. Is, so the way the program works is that, um, in your subconscious mind, you can change the belief systems you have. And if you change those belief systems, somehow it will work through you because you no longer have belief systems that you need to fight via coping yeah. behaviors. And I start with it in the second module so that it's actually, it's actually pretty a big thing, but it doesn't really seem that big, right? When you, when you do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's really big, I think. And then the, uh, the nightmares were related to, to changing your belief systems because you could let go of things. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I was thinking at those moments. Stuff can come up out of your unconscious mind yeah. and release itself fire nightmares, which can be brutal, right? Yeah, they were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they went uh, away after three days, I think. Well, when I did the trauma healing, it was the same thing, like three days nightmares and poor sleep quality. Yeah. But I don't exactly know, like, how they helped me, <laughs> but, but it was amazing. All right. Yeah, I'm not psychologist, like, know how to explain this out, but I just believed in that stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like that. 
uh, working on emotions, releasing emotions can make you feel symptoms like the way you were experiencing. Yeah. Therefore, some say don't do the emotional work because it can make you worse. Yeah. What do you think about that? I was like imagining it as the same thing when I stop at smoking, like it's going to get bad. But the first I knew it, I somehow knew it that when I did the trauma healing, it's going to be bad. <laughs> I like inside it. It's going to be like stopping smoking right now and having these bit travel symptoms. And I knew it. I have to do it now because it's easier to do it now then like and i knew it that it's gonna make me better in the long run run like can you tell us a little bit about how severe your symptoms were they were like really bad i had lots of pain and i could stay at the sitting position my chair and my legs up only four hours a day and i i think i spent that time researching my problems, like what's the next pill I could take to get well. If I even did more than that, I got like migraine headaches and I had like hair palpitations and which like panic attacks and I even called like ambulance and you know what I don't know what it's in English, what the image is. Yeah. Like Mad line that. Yeah. Like I called that that my heart is gone and I now stop or something. I was like so much in distress. And yeah. Did, did, can you tell us a little bit about the period before your symptoms started? What what was going on in your life then and how is it different now? I, yeah. Before that I was basically still really anxious. I not uh, I didn't talk about my emotions at all. Like I'm a Finnish man, I don't talk about my emotions. It's <laughs> like that's the way I lived and the life. I was just trying to get by. I was trying to do things that I don't want to do like hard as I could because it's just what I supposed to do. I don't know. So you um, feel a lot more conscious about the things right now that you can actually do. Yeah, it feels so much different. I do things because I want to like play. I don't know. It's, it's different. I like that. Yeah, it's not that I have to do things. I just rest and wait until I feel like doing stuff. It's so much like more fun. And then I get the like emotions for it, the doing. I, yeah, it's crazy. It's so much different. So you there, you you don't want to go back to your old life? No, no, no way. <laughs> That's as well. Like uh, like many people are offended by that because all they want to do is to go back, and they want to be that yeah. old personality. They they think that the uh, yeah. what they want to. When I ask, for example, in coachings, what do you want to do when you have energy again? They tell me things like. Uh, working out really hard and being muscled so that I can. Yeah. And then I ask why. And then, well, maybe, and then eventually it comes to, I want to be accepted. Yeah. And then yeah, I that, asked, that's, yeah, that's what I was trying to do, trying yeah. to be accepted. But it was like running away from like some ghost that doesn't exist. Like it was yeah. crazy. There's no, I, I can't just accept myself. I'm, I'm fine. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that's it's not so scary <laughs> like, yeah well the emotions and the symptoms and the nightmares were pretty scary i think yeah yeah they were it's hard to remember right now <laughs> like both bad i felt actually yeah well, it, I, was, it was hell and how how long of doing the program did you notice to feel improvement i felt actually pretty fast improvement there was like times where it then first like really bad and then better and really bad and better and but i was just believing myself that 
it has to go bad. I knew it, it has to go bad to get well out here. And what helped you the most of the program? I was like doing the tapping this to release mm -hmm. my emotions. It really worked like I, my emotions were at eight and after it, it was three. I was like, oh, can this bullshit work? <laughs> like I was like not believing it at first, but I was like, oh, I'm going to keep doing this because this is really good way to release my emotions or something. I don't know. And it always worked like having anxiety, any feeling I was doing tapping and tapping really helped me a lot. I think that was the best, like if habit to do for me to tapping. Otherwise it was just this knowledge to not do anything, just do what I want. I like this a lot. Thank you a lot for our, uh, for our conversation and, uh, thank you for, uh, for watching. Um, would you mind if people come in contact with you? Yeah, sure. It's fine. I would okay. love to help. Yeah. Great. Then I'll put if your, could, could. then I'll put your details in the description. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks, Artu.